Hi guys, today I'm filming my monthly favorites for March and I don't have a lot of stuff to show you guys today but I do have some cool stuff so it's not going to be like this really long video but also I know I sound a little congested and that's because I think I'm in the process of getting sick. Actually I think I am sick already because I have a runny nose and I'm sneezing all the time. There's germs everywhere and I feel like I just want to go and lay down in that couch and watch The Ghost Whisperer which is one of my favorite shows and I want to talk about today. So since I mentioned it, so The Ghost Whisperer came out in 2005, so it's a really old show, very, very old, actually like almost 10 years old, and uh, it ended in 2009, and I just started watching it on Netflix. It's a really great show about this lady who is Jennifer Love Hewitt, Melissa Gordon, and she basically can see spirits and talk to them, and she helps them cross over, and there's always like this issue with this ghost, which every single episode makes me cry by like the time that the spirit is crossing over to the light or to hell. Like I always cry, and it's, it's a really great show. It's it's not that scary, because it's a little bit scary, but it's not like, like the exorcist or anything like that be but I could watch the show at night and not be scared or anything because I do watch it before I go to bed um but anyways that's one of my favorite shows and that's what I'm watching and it has a lot of episodes so if you guys have Netflix and you haven't watched The Ghost Whisperer I definitely recommend it and I know I'm really old on this for everybody who's been watching The Ghost Whisperer but anyways um next thing that I want to talk to you guys um is about a book and I am all about motivational self-help and just anything that's going to help my spirit. It's going to help me grow as a person. I love to read books like that. I actually just bought The Hunger Games, which is not going to help me grow as a person. Well, actually, it will, but not in a spiritual way. But um, I got The Hunger Games, which I haven't started reading because I want to watch the movie as well. But um, I came across this book just recently that just came out. I love The Secret, the movie and the book. I've read the book and I saw the movie The Secret. I also got the audiobook for The Power and I have the book The Power which I've read as well. I have the audiobook in my car so I can listen and meditate um, just when I'm driving by myself on my way to class because I have like a 45 minute commute so it's a great way for me to just like just get in the zone and feel and feel just energized and positive and um, that's a really great book too, The Power. Um, but this little book that I, this is not a book, this is The Nook and it's a device where you download books and magazines and in color so it's pretty cool. The Kindle Fire I think just came out which I would have bought instead of The Nook. I, I mean I love The Nook but I always wanted the Kindle um, but the Kindle Fire I think that's what it's called. But anyways the book that I wanted to recommend this month for you guys is called The Magic and I've been tweeting about it. It is a life changing book. It's basically all about gratitude and just being thankful for what you have so you can in turn receive more. I don't know who you guys believe in but I believe in Jesus and God and I believe that's the person that blesses me with all the things that I have in my life. It really helps you put things into perspective because you wake up every single morning. One of the things that you have to do for 28 days is wake up every morning and write 10 things that you're grateful for and why you're grateful for it and then w writing the reason why you're grateful for something is really gonna f like light a fire inside of you and like just like help you be more grateful for it you know like if you say I'm grateful for um, let's see my um, my, I'm grateful for my heater, for example, because my heater just helps keep my house warm on days that are cold and my son doesn't have to suffer and be cold outside or any other reason like that, you know, like you can go from like the big things, being grateful for your family, of course, and the health and all that stuff to the smaller things like the heater, you know, that are really not that small because they just make your life a lot more comfortable and you should really be grateful for all those things. I am a really grateful person. Let me tell you guys, I go throughout the whole day just in my mind, thanking God for every single thing. If I'm driving down um, the freeway and I'm just it's such a beautiful sunny day, I thank God for such a beautiful sunny day in Southern California and that there's no natural disasters, there's no tornadoes, there's no nothing, tsunamis, you know, I'm grateful for it because I know things like that could happen and you just really have to be thankful. I feel like God has really blessed me in a lot of different ways because I'm grateful for it for a lot of things that I already have in my life and I'm truly grateful for them. No, you know, you don't just say thank you for something and then just move on. You really have to feel it inside. But it's a really great book. I really recommend it to you guys. I think if you do follow the program for 28 days, um, it's really going to change your life in ways that you can't even begin to imagine. 
the moment that I start started being thankful to that degree, just things that you can't even begin to imagine started happening to me in my life. My life changed dramatically. I, I started being a more positive person. I got major opportunities. Things in my life that I felt like I was never going to accomplish, I've accomplished and it's all because of gratitude. So gratitude is a really powerful thing and I feel like you guys would really benefit from this book if you're not like the most positive person or you need to change something in your life and you just want you know, you just want to change your life for the better. This is a great book. Get the, uh, I was going to say get the power. Get the power too, but the magic is the new book out. So get it. Okay, moving on. Phone case, something a little bit more materialistic. I don't typically buy a lot of phone cases because I was never really a phone person before until I bought the iPhone 4. And I got this phone case. I know a lot of you guys have been um, commenting on this phone case. It's pink and it has a little bow here. And I bought it at, um, for, I think, how much was this? I think it was like $7, guy. No, this was 20 this was twenty dollars in downtown LA at the alleys in the fashion district and it's really cute because it's pink and it has a cute little bow with like rhinestones and stuff and I always get a lot of compliments on this thing every time I take it out and I'm texting or I'm talking someone always stops me and tells me where did I get it and stuff like that so this is really cute and I love it and it's pink so my favorite color okay so moving on Talking about hair, I went ombre for spring and summer, and I've always had dark hair. I got a little bit of highlights here. I wish you guys could see my hair a little bit better, but I am totally loving my hair like this because I've always been just a one neutral color type of person. I don't really experiment. For the summertime and springtime, I decided to go a little bit lighter, and I didn't want to do like full out my whole hair, like blonde or anything like that. So I did the tips and then, you know, a little bit of highlights here so they can blend out easily. So my hair has been feeling a little bit dry and looking a little brittle. So I bought this hair mask. Before I did my hair, I've been using this because my hair has been a little damaged. I think I bought this at Target, but it's a really good, intense, hydrating mask by Proclaim Professionals, I think. I seriously feel like every time I use this thing, my hair always feels really like silky smooth it looks shiny um, it eliminates frizz as well so it, like when I blow dry it it's nice and straight and just voluminous it just looks really good so I really love this mask for that I feel like it really hides the brittle part of my hair and it just makes it look really nice and shiny so yeah I, I use it once a week and you get a lot of product this is a big tub I think this is like $15 if I'm not mistaken it might be a little less or just a little more. The next thing that I want to talk about is the shampoo. Actually, this is a conditioner and this is a shampoo. This is the Stress Relief uh, Eucalyptus Spearmint Body and Shine Shampoo. This thing smells amazing. I actually bought the lotion and the body wash. Bought the body wash first with the lotion and I love the smell of eucalyptus and spearmint. And I was like... Hold on. Anyways, like I was saying, I came back, the, it's really windy outside and the broom fell and made like this really loud noise and I'm home alone and I got scared so I'm back and it leaves my hair smelling so intense like the body wash. I love it. Um, I don't use it every single day because I feel like it's not like the best shampoo if you have damaged hair but it is good. I mean this thing it says it's supposed to give you body and shine. I don't know if I really necessarily see that. The conditioner works really well because it does the, it, 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 like, it untangles it and it's easy for me to comb it out. But I feel like, I don't know, like, this is not the type of shampoo. I feel like it has too many ingredients in this thing. But for the smell and for the scent, if you don't mind, like, once a week, you can put this in your hair and it smells amazing. It's, it really does. It's, like, one of my favorite scents ever. And I just absolutely love it. I, like, I ran out of the conditioner way before I ran out of the shampoo because I use the conditioner a lot. But, um, yeah, stress relief. Oh my gosh, this thing smells amazing. Like, do they have... Like, I would take a bubble bath in this thing. So, anyways. My next favorite is this uh, product by Benefit. It's called the Pore Fashional, and it helps minimize large pores, which I don't have. Like, I don't have visible pores, so they're not large. But the reason I love it is because it's very lightweight and it's silky. And when you put it on, it's translucent. So when you put it on, it just kind of, like, evens out your skin. And it kind of fills in all, like, like if you have... Uh, 
like little holes or maybe like a pimple that you picked and then you went away but you still have like a scar or any imperfection it just kind of fills it in it just provides like a smooth and bare canvas for your uh, foundation to go on top of it and it goes on way smoother I love this thing and I don't just use it for my t-zone I use it all over my face I, I seriously love this thing use it every single day now if you guys have large pores um, I would love to know if it really works for that matter but I bet it does because it fills in every single hole in my face so um, yeah totally love it highly recommended so that's that and then my last favorite thing is a nail polish base coat it's actually a four-in-one by Sally Hansen and I use it every single time I get my nails done now this thing here I I have a lot of nail polishes and I don't know if you guys have seen my nail polish collection well not collection but I did a DIY on a nail polish rack and you guys know that I love nail polish that's one thing that I buy constantly in many different colors but I know you guys were like well if you don't do your own nails like why do you buy so much polish but I actually take my own polish when I go get a pedicure or a manicure like I did for the photo shoot yesterday I take my own polish because I like my own color so um, one thing that when I do have time to do my own nails at home, I used to not put a base coat or a top coat and I never knew like, I was always like, why does my polish always look so like so ugly like it never looks so clean and nice and pretty and I, let me tell you guys, a nail polish coat and a base yeah, coat and base, top coat and base is really, really important for your nail polish to look really nice and to last and so it doesn't chip or anything like that. So this one by Sally Hansen is the Complete Care. I highly recommend it. It's a clear little pink bottle like this. And even if you use, like, um, if you just want your, to give yourself a manicure without any color, you can put on, um, like, two coats of this thing, and it just looks really nice. It makes your nails look really nice and shiny, and it's a great top coat, too. So this one I highly recommend it if you are looking for um, a base coat and a top coat, so you don't have to buy, like, two products. You can just buy this one and get every single benefit. So, um... Yeah, that's basically everything that I wanted to show you guys and talk about today. Um, I think I'm going to get some rest now and just watch my favorite show, um, get something to eat, and just chill out so I can kind of like feel a little bit better because I want to go back to doing uh, like hair tutorials or makeup or DIY, something a little bit more creative. So anyways, at least this is one video that you know you can look forward to every single month. It's my monthly favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out DulceCandy.com, my Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Oh my God, we are like at some thousand on Instagram so amazing so thank you guys and I will talk to you guys later bye